When I was a freshman in high school, something happened that made me look at the world we live in in a completely different way. What happened? I wanted to date a black guy. I'd like to think that I'm open-minded, but I wouldn't really know until I was in the situation. I can't tell you that only a Caucasian person is going to make you happy. That's not true. How do you think the rest of the family would feel if I dated someone who wasn't Caucasian? I think Grandma, will, which is my mother, will have a problem with it. I think that and Sandy might or might not have a problem with it, but she won't say that she has a problem with it. I think Janet would say something to me. <laughs> um, and Peter would probably just say something to Sandy, who I probably hear about later. So everybody would have something to say, but nobody would actually say it to my face. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, except for your mother. Huh. What happens if I wanted to date someone who was, like, Asian? Okay. You'd be fine with that? You mean like one date? I never really understood why my mom didn't want me to date him. There would be problems. What kind of problems? You could run into situations where you feel scared that somebody's going to hurt you because you're with somebody who's not the same as you. First, it just started with the looks. It came from older people, and then younger people were the ones who actually said things. Girls especially, like, why the fuck are you trying to take on men? Can't you stick to the white boys? I get that a lot. I, I knew his dad for a long time, but the first time I actually spoke to him was one day he was walking down a block, and we were coming up a block together holding hands. And as he reaches us, the first thing he says is, you look like salt and pepper walking down the street. <laughs> and he only knew me as Peppa for like the first few months. <laughs> His parents didn't want me dating him because I was white. They didn't want us to be together. The hard part where we encountered racism um, uh, was when we were looking for an apartment. We were getting married and we were looking for an apartment. They see me. I'd go to a place and talk to the people, oh yeah, yeah, so I want my wife to see the place. <clears throat> and then I'd bring mine all of a sudden there was something, they, the apartment wasn't available, they just rented it to somebody. I think it was just the beginning of people realizing that this is going to happen and, and some people were already used to it but there were still a few of like the old fashioned people that just yeah, on both sides. were not ready for that. I understand that the world we live in is not ideal, but shouldn't it be getting better? There are a lot of people, however, who are still out there um, and have very limited views when it comes to dating um, between races. Mm -hmm. And little by little that will change, but it's going to take more time than has already passed. If I wanted to date someone who was black. I don't know. Maybe if I wanted to date someone seriously and they were black, what would you think of that? I don't know. <laughs> we would have to cross that bridge when we got to it. So you couldn't say right off the bat that it'd be perfectly fine or? No, I couldn't say right off the bat that it would be perfectly fine. But I couldn't say right off the bat that it would be perfectly not fine either. People shouldn't be seen for their color, their race, their, their sex, their whatever. They should be seen for who they are. And if more people could see that, then I think it'd be more peace in the world. You know, it sounded really Miss America. Hmm, yes. I want your life to be as nice and as easy as possible. Okay. And when you add in factors that might make it difficult for you, mm -hmm. then I care. <laughs>